Welcome to the Senior Design Project Lab. This is where you would work with a team of students on your final project of your undergrad career. The room is equipped with soldering stations, 3D printers, signal measuring equipment, and much, much more. This is a classroom lab where most labs would take place regardless of which engineering program you are enrolled in. The room is equipped with signal measuring equipment and technology integrated throughout the room for lectures that are in person and recorded. This is the power lab. You would take the electrical energy systems course in this room. This room is equipped with Festo power equipment as well as other Hampton power equipment to complete experiments on. This is another room equipped with technology integrated throughout the room for lectures that are in person and recorded. So tell me about yourself. Sure, my name is Nikki Focus. I am a senior um, and I transferred from SUNY Ulster and I'm an electrical engineer. Why did you transfer to SUNY New Paltz? Oh, well, I live, I've lived in New Paltz since 2001, so my whole life basically. And uh, it's close by. And I knew some of the professors here already. Was everyone friendly and welcoming? Yeah, everybody was very friendly and nice. Um, I made friends pretty quickly. Did you get into all the classes that you needed to? Uh, yeah, there was no, no issues with getting into classes. Um, when I first transferred, there was like, like a small hiccup with like the classes being transferred in, but my advisor took care of that immediately and it was no problem. Approximately how many students are in your classes? I'd say... Um, max 30. Did you find the course material to be engaging? Yeah. Um, I took uh, the microcontroller class and the embedded systems class here with Professor Otis. It was uh, a lot of fun and very engaging. So. Do you feel that your professors know who you are? Yeah. At least, at least I do because I build a lot of crazy things and I ask them questions about it. So they know, at least they know me. I feel that way. What are some of the things that you can find in a lab? Uh, power supplies, function generators, uh, oscilloscopes, well, computer oscilloscopes, as well as standalone scopes, which are nice when you don't want to use the computer one for higher sampling, um, as well as um, soldering stations. And uh, we have also have a power lab, which is awesome, um, which has like uh, it's got it's got its own three phase system in there and like everything you need for for uh, power engineering, which is pretty cool. What are some projects that you have done that you really enjoyed? Sure. Um, let's see. In my embedded no microcontroller class, I built a traffic light system with uh, sort of had two traffic intersections. Then it had a simulated train. So like I had this little arm, ser servo powered arm that came down and lights would flash if there was a car. And I used like magnetic field sensors to, to simulate a car going being there. And like it, it would run the traffic lights. Uh, I've also worked, uh, I worked, I did a project where I generated three uh, low voltage, three phase AC from a DC source, which was pretty cool. Um, using some phase splitting and, and some other stuff I learned in my electronics classes, as well as my power classes. So, are the labs clean? Uh, yeah, uh, there's a very there's a strict no food or drink policy, so there's no stickiness or scraps on the tables. This is the main office for the engineering department. This is where you can find our chair, Dr. Kevin Shanley, and our admissions assistant, Lily Bonsall.
This is the engineering shop where you would find Anthony Dennisard. This is where you can sign out equipment and request parts to work on projects for class. This is the computer engineering lab. This is a classroom lab where most labs in the computer engineering program would take place. The room is equipped with signal measuring equipment and computers. This is the microwave and antenna research lab. Classes are not directly held in this room. This room is made to collect accurate data for microwaves and antenna research for projects. So tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm a mechanical engineering major and I'm a first year student at SUNY New Paltz. When you arrived at New Paltz, was everyone friendly and welcoming? Yes, I would say everyone seemed friendly and welcoming. I felt like when I was walking down the sidewalk, people would come up to me and say hi and I've made so many great friends here. Was your advisor helpful when choosing your courses? I felt mostly like I was picking my schedule on my own, but SUNY New Paltz has eight semester plans for every major that they offer, and I felt like that was very, very helpful for me. Approximately how many students are in your classes? In my core classes, there are about 60 students in it, but then when I get to my engineering classes, there seems to be a lot less and there's like 20 students. Do you find the material to be engaging? I would say it is really engaging because like the teachers are so passionate about what they're teaching that they make it fun for everyone else as well. Do you feel that your professors know who you are? They're super friendly and I do feel like my professors know my name. It's a little harder for the big classes where there are 60 students, but my professors all seem like they really do want to get to know me and they are super friendly. What are some projects that you have done that you really enjoyed? There is this one project that we did in Intro to Engineering that I thought was really cool, where we made a Lego car and we put together the circuit board for it and we built all the Legos the way they were supposed to. And it was really great because it really encapsulated mechanical, computer, and electrical engineering in one project. Is there anything else that you would like to add? I'm really glad I came to see New Paltz and it is a really great environment for me to learn more about engineering. The Hudson Valley Advanced Manufacturing Center provides expert advice on 3D printing process, materials, and designing for additive manufacturing. Their printers are available for everyone's use. This is the Mechanical Engineering Lab. This room is equipped with an admin torsion machine, a strain gauge, a Hampton refrigeration cycle demonstrator, a Hampton pipe flow demonstrator, and an Instron 5984, which is used for a tensile lab and a three-point bending lab. Some courses that are held in this lab include materials lab, thermofluids, and system dynamics.
This is a mechanical engineering research lab. Classes are not directly held in this room. This room is used to work with other students and professors on a selected research topic. This is also a mechanical engineering research lab. Classes are not directly held in this room either. This room is also used to work with other students and professors on a selected research topic. This is a classroom design lab where most labs would take place regardless of which engineering program you are enrolled in. This is another room equipped with technology integrated throughout the room for lectures that are in person and recorded. This lab also has computers that raise up from within the desk. As seen earlier, there are multiple areas throughout all three engineering buildings where students can hang out and work together. So tell me about yourself. So my name is Vishesh. I'm a senior majoring in mechanical engineering, and I came here as a first year. Why did you choose to go to SUNY New Paltz? I chose New Paltz first because of its location. It's pretty close to home an hour away. Second, I was on a tour, and I just could picture myself setting up the library at the engineering buildings. When you arrived, did you feel that everyone was friendly and welcoming? When I came here during orientation, um, I was paired with other engineering students and science students, and we were all open-minded, obviously, um, because we, we wanted to make new friends, and we had a new uh, department, so yeah. Was your advisor helpful when choosing your courses? My advisor um, was very helpful when I needed to uh, decide classes, and we do have a good relationship, so he would recommend classes to take for did you get into all the classes you needed to? Uh, for the most part, yes, but there were some classes that I couldn't get into, but my, my advisor worked hard and we, we, we would get the classes that we wanted for the next semester. Approximately how many students are in your classes? So the core classes, uh, I started with like 60, 70 students with chemistry and physics classes, but once I became a sophomore junior, class size did drop and now I'm in class with like 12, 12 or 14 students and the lab, the lab sizes are always like 10 or 12 students, um, so. Do you find the course material to be engaging? Yes, I do find the course material engaging. Um, professors always find different ways to uh, make it more engaging, like by bringing like, demonstrations into the class and stuff. How do you feel about your professors? Um, I like my professors. Uh, most of the professors have uh, experience in the field that they're in, and so the students know like, if they're interested in this field, if they want to master or get a job in a specific field. Yeah. Do you find the labs to be up to date? Yes, I do find all the labs equipped with all the materials we need. Um, all the labs have electrical engineering stuff, um, so all the Agile and stuff, all softwares and stuff. And Camp and Dream Lab has all the tensile testing and compression testing, absorption uh, testing, valve, everything we need. Um, and if anything additional is required for a specific class, the professor does bring all the equipment needed for that specific class on that specific day.